All right, 7.2 continued. We were looking at binomial products where our constants were one and we had leading coefficients. What I was about ready to say in the last video was you may find yourself needing to do a FOIL method on these rather than a shortcut just because of that little bit of difficulty with the outsides, insides, or just kind of going back to the last where we had um, numeric coefficients here as well as numbers um, for the shortcut method there. But if we FOIL these, 4 times 3 which gives us 12x squared and then we have outsides which are 4 times a negative 1 which gives us a negative 4x and then a negative 1 times a 3 which gives us a negative 3x and then finally a negative times a negative which is a positive here and so we have 12 and then x squared and then negative 3 and a negative 4 which is a negative 7x and then plus 1 and so you see we get the same answer there. Let's do it again with this one down here. We have 5 times 6, which is 30, x times x, which is x squared, and then 5 times positive 1, which is a positive 5x, and then we have negative 1 times positive 6, which is a negative 6x, and a negative times a positive, which is a negative 1 times 1, which is 1. And so we see 30x squared, and positive 5 and negative 6, which is a negative x or negative 1x, and then minus 1. So you see the same answer there. Now going on with our next one, let's go ahead and try the shortcut. 72, 9 times 8, 72, those are x squareds. Now my outside is a negative 8, and my inside is a positive 9, and writing those down might help us out, right? So we have a positive x, and then we see negative times a positive is a negative, and there's 1. If you need to FOIL those, that's acceptable too. All right, now the next thing that we need to do is a monomial times a product of binomials. And I highly recommend that we do the binomial times the binomial first and then multiply by the monomial. So taking a look at our, our next problem here, we have 5x times x plus 2 times x minus 4. So I'm going to multiply my binomials because we've learned some shortcuts for doing that. So I'm going to copy down my 5x and then I'm going to do my binomial multiplication. So I know I'm going to get an x squared and the difference of 4 and 2 and it's going to be negative and then the product of 4 and 2 and it's also going to be negative. And then I can do my distributive property with my monomial through my polynomial. So 5x times x squared which gives me 5x cubed and then 5x times negative 2 which gives me a negative 10x and t squared and then negative 5 times 8 which is 40 times my x and that'll be my final answer on that one. Now whether you choose to do this monomial through this binomial and then multiply binomial times binomial or whether you choose to do it binomial times binomial and then times the monomial, it's perfectly acceptable because remember that multiplication is commutative and associative. So let's take a look at this one and let's do it the other way. Let's go ahead and multiply this one through here and here and then multiply the binomial. So negative times a positive is negative 15r and then plus negative times a positive is negative 3r. And now I have this binomial times this binomial. The only thing you want to be careful about when multiplying um, the monomials through the binomial is that you don't try to multiply it clear through over here because remember, multiplication is not commutative over multiplication. It's associative. So we have now a binomial times a binomial. So negative 15r times r, which gives me a negative 15r squared. And then my outsides, negative 45r. And then my um, insides, negative 3r um, squared. And then my last, which gives me a negative 9r. And so now, um, we see that we have, um, oops, I forgot the r squared here. This one's an r cubed, therefore. Oops, that would have been bad. <laughs> okay. And so now what we have is we have like terms here and here and an unlike term here. And so negative 15 r cubed and we have minus um, a 3 r 